last beer we had was Black Mesa Endless Skyway. It's an extra special bitter ale. Pretty good. I, I liked it. Great taste. Hold my glass real quick. These are usually hard to open. They make these uh extra stuff. Yeah, they make the caps. There we go. Alright, so uh when it's a Stone Cloud Brewing's grand opening. They had a few crowlers in the in the fridge for sale. And this one is the uh, Neon Sunshine. It's a Belgian white uh, can on 714 the day they actually opened. And it is the 29th now. I know it's a little later to get to it, but you know, I was hoping to drink this with uh, some people, and I'm with some people. Uh, you know, having something this nice to myself is kind of a kind of a dick move, so I like to kind of spread the wealth. Uh, took a picture of their, their menu. Um, Neon Sunshine is a lightly spiced Belgian ale wheat beer with tangerine pill. Uh, it's 5.5%. Uh, 16 ounce pour is $6. I uh, believe this was either 8 or 9 bucks. I ended up getting two. I did not get their turtle head. <laughs> turtle head. Which was, um, it was a stout, I think, with coffee or chocolate, one of the two. I can already tell. I think this is this is going to be very nice. Yeah, I love the light beer. I did and actually. When you said Belgium, I was like, Whoa. Shit. I got a pour of this and one of their. I think it was the the touching cloth, which sounds like a a beer you'd get at like Catholic school or something. <laughs> the touching cloth. <laughs> yeah. Just put your touching cloth over your little Johnny. Just use the touching cloth for Father Amali. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And touch it right quick, you will. You gonna smell it? Yeah, I was smelling it. I'm glad I was gonna drink it. Super peppery, super citrusy. It's cloudy too, just like. Yeah. Oh man. You smell a little peppery, like juicy fruit kind of a smell? Yeah, it's got a. No, it does have a juicy fruit type smell, just mm -hmm. like bubblegum. Damn it, dude, good call on that, eh? It's like pumpkin spice with banana, orange, and a nice little creamy mouthfeel to it. The banana is ridiculous. I got little stickers <laughs> The banana taste is, dude, it's crazy. I mean, it. Oh mm. my gosh. Honestly, I, I like it better out of the crowler than I did uh, on draft. On draft, I got a whole lot of the uh, Belgian notes, but the, everything else was not as potent. I mean, it's got a... Oh, man, that flavor. For me, it's on the back, you know, after you swallow it and you kind of... Oh, man. And it, it kind of got that pumpkin spice kind of a... It does. It does have a little... Yeah, I don't even. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this, dude. It's really good. Yeah. I'm a pale ale guy. I like the pale ale. Hey, actually, um, I do believe that Cronenberg might be a Belgian. Yeah. Might be, I think. It's all mostly Belgian beer, light like this, like a, Yeah, you might just be a Belgian beer lover. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Because I haven't, I haven't drank one Belgian beer. I don't think I like. <laughs> no, this is great, though, Stephen. I mean, I, I don't. Dude, this is really good. So you could drink the crowler to yourself? Oh my god, dude. As soon as you poured it and I seen the color of it, I knew I was like, oh man, I don't like this, you know. <laughs> I'd like anytime I see that color, man, it's kinda cloudy like that. I haven't come across one that looked like that that I didn't like. Every one of them dudes always good. And I like that and I've tried a couple. We tried the blueberry mm -hmm. and stuff from that place over there, um Bricktown brewery or whatever, yeah. brick house brewery. Bricktown. I only like that one beer, the coin or Kong or Kong Slaughter, whatever, whatever the hell that is, the German one. Mm. So, 
It's my favorite. It's pretty good. But yeah, this is excellent, man. What's it called again, Steve? Stone Club Brewing. Neon Sunshine with. Or is that wit? 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 Well, it means white. White. The Belgian. Get off me. First of age. Oh. You think it would taste it different if you'd have drank it on the day you got it? I don't know, because like rough tail beers, we'll, like when me and Jesse review them, we'll get crowlers that day, let me finish it off, and, but we'll have a draft before we leave, and it tastes completely different, it tastes a lot better out of the crowler than it does on, on a draft, and it's always like that, like the past three times we've gotten special beers there, uh, it was just better out of the crowler, and drinking it the exact same day out of the exact same tap, it's just weird. I mean, I, 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 my, my score is pretty easy on this one. Oh, I love it. I give it 10. Yeah, I'm guess it's 10, 10 already here. I, I mean, as soon as I seen the color when you poured it, like I said, I, you, you had me with the, the color of the beer there, Hoss. There ain't no way that wasn't going to be no good. Mm. So there you go. Where are these guys at in the city? Um, downtown, actually. Downtown. You just Google them. Like Bricktown? There you go. Stone Cloud Brewing Company. Neon Sunshine, five and a half percent. Yeah, it's it's somewhat, it's more on the outskirts. So they're a new brewing company. Uh, Patrick from Making It Grain uh, it actually starts working there, I believe, this week. Um, the owner, Joel, I've known him since I was like thirteen or so, but you know we didn't keep in contact. I might want to say he's a great old buddy of mine. That'd just be a lie. <laughs> but good dude. So there you go. We'll be seeing you.